Kang walks the perimeter of this newfound outpost Rust Hilt has laid claim to out in the middle of nowhere. Each unaligned corner, each structural or strategical weakness is noted in Kang's mind. Shaking his head slowly and grunting as he begins heading toward Rust Hilt, he has to admit, when he allowed Rust Hilt to hire him for his services, he cherished the challenge of protecting a flat skin. What could put a Shek's skill to test more than attempting to keep alive a fragile creature like him? But he also expected Rust Hilt to be dead at this point. And yet, here they were. He surprised Kang with his ability to learn, adapt, and even fight when necessary. But as Kang brings up the problems with the outpost to Rust Hilt, it's also clear that he has so much to learn yet. Kang continues to begrudgingly lay out a more optimized plan for defenses here in the Borderlands in this outpost. Where to place turrets and how many guards are needed, as well as breaking down and reforming the walls where necessary to ensure that those manning the turrets have a clear shot. Rust Hilt nods a few times before simply saying, consider it done, and walking off. Funny, <laughs> not even a single question for Kang. Does he really trust him that much? Kang chuckles quietly to himself. How have Flatskin survived this long? Well, it's not pretty. By any stretch is it, is it <laughs> at all pretty, but things have changed since last we joined our uh, forgotten crew here out in the outskirts at the uh, Dust Bandit Outpost, of which I haven't decided a name on, but I think I'll jump to the Discord, the community Discord, and figure things out uh, there. But uh, there's been a lot of off-camera work. Rust Hilt has been very, very commanding. I guess is a, is a good way to put it. He's very specific about what he wants and how he wants it done. Uh, and one of the big things that I, as a player, and obviously Rust Hilt want is better defenses. And I've listened and I thought, Killbox, right? It's something I've done countless times in RimWorld. Why would it not work here? And it seems the comments have agreed with me in that they were suggesting I do a kill box for episodes and I never really saw it. Um, but here we are, the, the redistribution of the gate. Our gate now uh, is got a nice little hallway and on both sides towards the end, we've got harpoons uh, being built by Ruka, Green, Wiki, and all them. Uh, we'll have four harpoons total because we don't really have four people to shoot harpoons. And as they come down this hallway, the hope is that they'll just get pelted to death uh, for the most part before they're able to do anything else and we'll have a really, really safe city. That takes care of a big step that we've needed for quite a while. One of the biggest issues we've had is that the we've had the, in, the inability, rather, to produce safety within our own town. I'm hoping this is going to change that uh, by quite a lot. The other thing that I've actually done uh, is sent out a few people to recruit. And we got a couple new people here and they've got names for, uh, that are yanked from our good uh, Patreon. Uh, over here, if we look, they're currently workers right now. We've got Vermilion and Cyrus. Vermilion is a uh, Scorched and Cyrus is yet another, um, yet another Shek. Words are hard sometimes, fam. And there you've got jobs already. We've got uh, Ciro's being the bread worker for now, uh, as as things are are kind of work out better, then he'll have other jobs as we have more jobs for him to take care of. And then Vermilion currently is, is the big uh, man on campus here with the grain silo. Now this farm, I'm not stupid, is not going to nearly get us what we need. In fact, what we should do is turn this off maybe and just worry about keeping the farm going. That way, uh, we can actually start expanding. We're gonna want, I think, a couple of farms, ideally. Uh, if we were to create a farm right now, uh, if we were just to grab a wheat farm, we'll say a medium wheat farm. Yeah, fertility is about the same no matter where we go, though the environment is obviously quite arid right now. Uh, if we did some farming, I guess the question I have to myself would be where would I want to put him? And I think over here, is where we're gonna wanna put our farms. So let's confirm these. And I know we need 25 re wheat straw and we'll get them there at eventually. Uh, but for now, I just wanna put those farms there and let them go. We have a, a decent amount of food to last us, but it's not gonna be n uh, enough to keep us fed for a while. But we need to make this work. So I'm thinking Vermilion for now. 
we're gonna take the grain silo off and we're gonna we're gonna work on getting uh, grain back here so i'm gonna take silver shade as i tend to and i think i'm gonna send him out why do i send silver shade out well silver shade is our fastest runner by and large um do we have any harpoons up not a single one okay well forgotten crew let's just meet out front here who is this and why is he here is he just hanging out can come attack him why is this band of bones man all healed up and just hanging out whoa what a swing on zija zija taking an immediate gut shot let everybody kill him please please speed it up get him down there we go now everybody else can kind of do their thing and take out the starving bandits as needed and everybody else will do uh medicine as we need as well i don't know why that band of bones guy was was sitting there but that's weird silver shade uh you're okay so i'm just gonna send you out off to squin uh why is this send silver shade because his stealth is incredibly high so if we end up needing to um we can hide and he's super fast i think he's only slower than rust hilt and even then he's catching up very quickly so because we, we've been sending him as our kind of our travel our travel guide our travel agent and once we have everything fully finished fully set up and our outpost is completely taken care of we're going to be taking some of our workers that are currently in the outpost here uh likely fall and gin at the very least and probably nines put them back in the forgotten bone dog is going to come along with and we are heading out to the fog lands once more but we want to be ready for it i need to make sure i get um all of the the masks uh that we have into squin brought back so people can have them and we might because we have to actually go this way we'll probably end up detouring back to squin just to get those masks this little defensive thing is kind of you know in my mind uh kang's idea kang has been kind of the military leader all things considered um you know of the crew so in my head kang's the one that's uh kind of been ordering them and telling them uh, about how to redo their walls since rust tilt obviously didn't have a, G a full you know high idea there as to how to make it work all right um hopefully people are moving things over to here we have no wheat straw we're missing wheat straw over here and i think i'm gonna have ruka just work on this for now and make steel bars because we have plenty of other steel be being stored and we do need steel bars, so I think having um, some steel bar workers is going to go a long way. Let's go ahead and have a vermilion over there as well. Really? You're going to get back up just so you can fall back over? I'm sorry, my man. I mean, I appreciate your tenacity, but beyond that, we've got bandits coming to demand things from us, which I find hilarious in and of itself. Um, but we'll see how well they, they end up surviving. Uh... We do need a few things still. Um, let's, so let's actually swing back to the Forgotten real quick. All right, back here, let's actually look. We've got one harpoon gun, which is good. Uh, so let's get our one of our turret folk up. We'll go turret, harpoon guard. Let's see how well they end up dealing with us at that point. There's one, do we have any more? We're missing copper and that's it. Uh, and we actually do have copper slowly being mined somewhere i think at least i did yeah let's um who's not doing anything Jin? let's have you over here just laboring away then you're pretty quick on the labor so hopefully when this is done they'll start putting these together and I, i'm very eager to see how well this this wall holds up for us well ruka's gonna go get it now is it just one two there a steel bar here and a couple copper and a steel bar there so it's just gonna take them time no matter what they do so let's go ahead and put it on this one though i want to make sure we get at least this one finished it looks like he's gonna do the same not quite Oi, chumps! Perfect timing. Um, let's quickly grab one of these, Minic owned. I want him over here mining. Rook is gonna go get it, I hope. Oh, they're attacking. Okay. 
Everybody out here. I want everybody on repair. If we can keep it repaired. I don't think we can. All right, let's see what happens. Green is in there. Thank God. So hopefully he doesn't fuck anyone, uh, any of us up. In the meantime, yeah. Those who have woken up are gonna end up doing that. Holy crap! Our dear boy, uh, Pin got knocked out. Speaking of Pin, it's been a while since we've actually spoken and, uh, talked about Pin. Pin is missing his left arm. He's been working very, very hard, and he's probably really upset because his weaponsmithing skill is nowhere near, uh, where it needs to be, and having one arm is going to make that very difficult. But don't worry. Rust Tilt has definitely kept that in mind, and we'll be keeping an eye out for some replacement parts. I'm excited to see how that ends up going for us. Everybody back here. And I want this down. Okay. Next tart guard, Stone. I want you. Here. And then once these are up, We'll have, uh, Nor over there, and hopefully gathering some good experience. Alright, I think we can leave our outpost for now. Uh, they dealt with it the normal way. They didn't really have to deal with it, uh, with tarts and so on. Um, but now that we're back here, Silvershade has a, uh, wooden backpack, and we're gonna see if we can grab some more wheat straw to throw into our medium farm that I really, really want to be worked on constantly. To have two farms up would hopefully be enough to produce enough bread for people. Because we can, I'm assuming we can eat bread, by the way. I'm hoping that we, that is the case. We'll also grab those steel bars, because we could use them. Okay, Silvershade has returned. Let's head into the, into our base, and let's get this farm up and running. Or at least partially up and running. We can put another eight in there. And then this is just about done growing, which is good. Alright, Silvershade in. And we'll head over here and get him working on the farm. Meanwhile, people are getting annihilated in this area over here for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's literally hungry, starving bandits, but they're whooping us for some reason. But they'll live. As long as that's all it is, then we're alright. Alright, we're gonna get some wheat, hopefully. Ooh, we are actually getting wheat. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is actually awesome. Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> Another one, please, as our turrets all oh, line up. Oh, <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> that's so brutal. I love it. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> just used to see thunk, 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 and they just fall. Their arms and legs being torn off completely. Oh, that's awesome. All right, everybody, just do what you got to do. Oh, and then it gets all repaired. Beautiful. Okay, Wiki is still working hard here. Has farming hopefully going up very quickly. Actually is is decently uh, raising. So let's go ahead and grab Silver Shade. Let's come over here. I just want him to take that out. We'll see if we get any more. I think that's enough. I think that's plenty to come over here. And we can build it. Okay, it's done. Um, we can build this one too. Who is our best farmers right now? Wiki obviously is a very good farmer. I guess we'll send Vermilion off over here for now. Mm. We'll have him working this farm as as needed. And I'm hoping water just automatically gets put there. All right. I think it's time we gather those that we're going to take and get ready to head out. I'm a little nervous to leave this place though. The turrets don't seem good enough to handle them all, and I'm not sure if there's much I can do about it. I kind of would love to take Rock and bring him here. And I, fact, I think I'm gonna. I think it's time we get Rock over here. Genuinely, I think it's time. Another, another turret wielder is going to be very, very big for us. We could always get somebody else to go uh, mine the dregs in Squin, but to have another person on the turrets can go a very, very long way. And I'd like to keep getting turrets up as well, um, but ideally, I want him here. So I want him to be on this duty. 
because we're going just to a place to explore. Nothing more. We're not going to loot. I don't want to risk the looting. Not yet, anyway. So, uh, let's do more defense. I just kind of want to get another harpoon up. Actually, what I should do is just upgrade these. Copper and iron plates. Easy. Let's get all of these upgraded. And Nora is just taking pot shots. Her turret skill is going to get a nice little boost here. Check challengers moving towards your outpost. I don't know what that means. I don't know where Rock is either. He's asleep, apparently. Rock, I, I thought I said get up. Oh, they're right there, huh? All right, Rock is going to run. Uh, I don't know what Sheck challengers are. I'm a very much afraid, actually. I'd like to leave at some point in the near future, but it does not seem that that is going to happen. But Sheck challenges are on the way. Let's see if they can make it through. I don't think we want to take the Forgotten out yet. This is... Man, this is why taking the Forgotten out is still so scary to me. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Is that them? Nope. Just some nomads passing through. Good luck, nomads. Sh scary out there. Oh, is this them? Nope. Starving bandits. We really gonna do this now? No, no, don't unlock it. Don't unlock it. Just let them get destroyed. Alright. That worked really well. One last upgrade. Where, oh where, are these supposed challengers? These Shek challengers. Really? They're way over there? Alright, well, they're gonna have to cross the swamps to get to us, but we'll wait it out. I'll hold out and before we uh, we go anywhere. Rock's not the smartest rock in the bunch. Uh, his brother, Stone, has proven to be more useful. Rock continually gets stuck. Constantly. Let's hope he makes it. And maybe he gets there faster as well. There we go. A Mark II turret. I don't know if he's going to make it in time, though. I don't think he's going to. So let's go back to the Forgotten and get ready, because we're going to need it. Uh, does anybody here have good tarts other than the ones that are already up there? Kang's not terrible, so let's just get Kang on this for now and bring them down. Yeah, there's no way... Please don't be getting attacked right now. You're supposed to be being passive. What are you getting attacked by? Why are you fighting them, homie? Run. Run. Did he fall over? I think he fell. All right, we're probably going to have to go rescue him, but we'll wait. Here they are. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Hmm, defeated by an outsider. Who? Who's defeated? You're all band of bones. Oh god, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll stand at the gate. Rustil shouts out them what they want. Today, we will be the ones who stand. And now you're just going to get annihilated. By a bunch of turrets. Oh. Fire away. This is not going to go well. That's so many Shek. Back up. Let him break it. Just let them go, as many of them go down as possible. Oh, they're taking out walls. Let them, let them, let them take out the walls. All right, that whittled them down drastically. The rest I'm happy with going in. And now these, these are all working their way up because they're gonna have to jump in there. Kang, I think you're more useful down here. So let's get you down. Nor, I'm a little nervous, uh, but they've been defeated. Already. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Did everybody stand? Everybody lived. We really want to bring this down, because I really want to lock them out. Everybody else can manage. Nines, come on down. And, uh, we're good. We actually lived. Fantastic. There he is! Rock! Welcome to the crew, homie. Alright, we're gonna immediately put you up there. 
Rock? Get up there. Jobs. And I want everything else closed. I know where we're burning bodies for fun here. It's a good time. Everybody enjoys throwing some bodies out there. But uh, we're going to hold off <laughs> anymore. All right. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. But now that I see, like, the kind of things that we've been attacked by, I think Russell has to make a decision here who to leave behind in hopes of, uh, in, in, in case things go poorly. We want to leave by, behind at least, like, one good fighter. And if he's going to leave anyone behind, it's going to be Ruka. She's the second. She's more or less second in command. Kang has actually, Ruka's going to come with. Kang has stepped up. He's been the one to kind of indicate how he wants the walls laid out and uh, having a nice kind of death alley. Why doesn't he stand guard while uh, while other people are out and about? And we'll even leave nines behind too. We'll take a small group, and I'm gonna leave the dog behind for defenses. I'm gonna take a small group with us, and Zeej is gonna come along, because I wanna, I don't know what to expect, man. I don't know what to expect. I'm very nervous, but let's get everybody out of here. Everybody can step out, we'll shut it behind us. And we're going to go to Squin first. In Squin, um, we might pick up somebody at a bar real quick uh, to to continue doing the, the farming that we've taken a rock away for. Why is Ruka just going supremely fast? Also, why are these guys going? No, you guys have to stay. I'm sorry. It's not how I want things to be. It's just how they have to be. Everybody meet up. There we go. That's much better. Let's go get our fog masks. It's time to head back to those forbidden lands where the screams of people being murdered could easily be heard, but in the center, a city awaits. A bit of a busy start for today, though improvements have certainly been made in our city, and I can't be too uh, mad about it by any stretch. Home again, home again. Always good to be back in Squin. Squin will forever, and it's kind of fun to think about, but Squin will literally forever, from the rest of my gaming career, holds a super special place in my heart. It's crazy. I know this place real well. It's just, it's interesting to, to feel that kind of connection. I want uh, sh you in here. I want you to grab food. We are broke. That's all right. While you're here, let's uh, let's sell off our copper. And when we're finally like self-sufficient too, it's gonna be so nice. Oh, we can't afford that. Uh, that's fine. It's gonna be so nice to be able to not have to buy food ever again. That's our kind of short-term goal. All right, Senshi, uh, fresh start. How much are you charge and what are your skills? I'm an engineer and I build things. 6,000 cats for a, a, a miner isn't exactly what I'm looking to pay. What about Nutto? Mm, looking to band together? Uh, all right, Ruka, you come speak with him. If he ain't gonna speak with anyone else here. Looking to join up. 6,000 cats, go F yourself. Listen, I don't need it that bad. We've got plenty of food to carry us for a while. I think we're fine. I don't think I want to spend the night here because it'll run us some dangers. So let's grab splint kit for people just in case. Okay, now we start equipping people. How many masks do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, three. We're going to be one short, but I think that's perfect because I don't think Wiki needs it. So you, 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 you. You, you. We're not going into the swamps, so the ninja swamps are not going to be a big deal. But I'm hoping everything else is going to be fine. What are we being attacked by? And why is the door open? Did they bust the door down? Can can we get this guy down, please? Somebody, pack beast. I want you passive in a way. Pin. We have no food. I can't put bread 
And I'm sure somebody will be able to explain it to me, but for some reason, I cannot put bread in here. And that's obnoxious. We'll have to get some food over there in the meanwhile. To mongrel. Oof. That scares me. That scares me a lot. I don't know what to expect in here. Um, let's have Pin come back for the food, I think. We'll have him snag the food while we can. Is he not... His athletics is not great, but he'll go. One-armed, oh man. Just one-armed, poor Pin. The one-armed wonder. I can't believe he lost a limb. And he hasn't had it replaced yet, and he hasn't complained. Ever the, uh, the workhorse he is. Doesn't seem to ever stop him. We are about to walk into a very big pack of dogs. However, if they attack, it might be good food. We'll see what happens. We're on our way to the Foglands, and there's this giant... ...pack of bone dogs. Yeah, they all want to fight. I mean, we could probably take them. The pups aren't much, and the raw food could go a long way. Let's give it a shot. Everybody jump in. Let's see what we can do. Certainly not going great, but it's certainly gone worse. Whoa, 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 Zija. All right, everybody's getting healed. In the meantime, I want Silvershade ripping the meat out of the bones of these animals. Just the meat. We only want the meat. Everything else, while, has, you know, obviously has value for armor crafting and stuff, for now, it's been a food problem. We've certainly had a food problem. We don't go hunting like we used to. Maybe it's something we should try and do. Moving on, though, with food in our bags, we can cook later as needed. Definitely not a bad thing. Vain. I've certainly not been here. Vain. The hires may seem harmless enough, but don't let that fool you. That's Rust Hilt speaking. Speaking from experience. Those guys are plain sneaky. Silvershade being right in front of him, surprised he's just saying that. Ouch, that hurts, you know. Oh, Zija has decided that, that is uh, offensive. I mean, Silvershade probably makes sense not to. He's been with us for so long. Oh, don't overreact. You know I don't mean you. Rustil certainly has taken a dark turn. The way he spews his words, the way he phrases things. It's not the Rustil we all once knew. I want Rustil to splint uh, his injuries here real quick. I basically need him to be moving as quickly as he can be. Does nobody here have a splint kit? Nothing. Well, I'll keep that backpack on you for now. What are you talking about? You have a splint kit. Does anybody else need their legs splinted? Looks like we're good. Let's keep moving. If we can just make it to the borders of this area, we'll be in a good spot. It's been a while since the Forgotten have been in the area where it seems to rain blood. Yet, it's a perfect metaphor for life in this miserable existence out in the wastes. Still, They've come quite a long ways, and Mongrel holds a lot of promise if the rumors are to be believed. If there's a city in the middle of the fog, perhaps they can learn more about what sits there. Learn more about the creatures that live in the fog, and maybe even find things worth scavenging and looting to come back for. If anything, that's the most exciting part. Finding things long forgotten by humanity, Shek, and even Hive kind. The things that only the skeletons guard. Or with luck, nothing at all. The things that'll put them one step above the holy nation and one step closer to eliminating them forever. <laughs>